but basically we're, we're not allowed to modify the bikes in any way with any screws or nuts or bolts or anything so instead we're using zip ties to put things Cable like cable ties zip ties to put things like um you know water bottle holders and all sorts of other things this is for the water bottle Looks about right. <laughs> um, this is a big moment for us. We're essentially trying to work out if the bags that we bought, which just arrived today, which do look amazing, if they'll fit all our stuff in. So we've got pretty much everything we're going to take together. We're going to put it in, and we're going to see if it fits, basically. Spirits are high and stress levels are low. Okay. Still married. We've got B's sister here to keep her in check and make sure she doesn't I don't run, know, away. run away before the trip actually starts. That's a feeler right there. Cool as a cucumber. Right, so we have an hour until departure and we have to get everything on this table into a bag in that time. So, So I'm going to leave it at that. Currently en route to Marble Arch to pick up the van. Hello B, are you happy about the rain? I'm not really. I mean, it's snowing in Scotland. Snowing in Scotland? Yes. Oh no. I'm now until midday tomorrow, which is on the drive. Yeah, yeah but at least we're not cycling in it. Yeah, but then there'll be snow on the stairs. That's fine. We'll be like Greg James. I actually think it might be too big. Um, so after a long flipping palaver, we're now about to get into our van, which is quite exciting. I feel very masculine. I'm high up. I've got my gear stick up here. I don't have a rear mirror. I'm in a van. It's so sick. Listening to magic. Flipping cruising down Marylebone High Street. Mar so, this is not Marylebone. This is Euston Road. Euston Road. And probably the worst traffic we've seen in 2018. Over. Not exactly tidy, is it? But it's... Yeah. Goodbye, London, and goodbye, life for three weeks. And off we trot. And brake off. Windscreen wipers on. Oh well. It's 5:22. We're still in London. It's going pretty slowly, but we have each other, and we have a. So just to fill you in a little bit, um, we're, we've, we've left B's parents' house. We're about um, an hour and a half into the journey before B realises she needs the loo. Classic. We are en route to John O'Groats. It is about a 10 hour journey in total. It says we're going to get there at um, 10 to 4, which is good. The place for this van closes at 5.30, so we need to get there before then. So we've got plenty of time, but um, we, we, we've got to keep moving. So we're there, early night, and then, and then we set off in the morning. So um, that's, that's about it, really. in Scotland where there's like no one and that's what we've got you mean look at the map it's just red oh I love traffic but you know it's a good thing we get on so well with each other otherwise this would be a nightmare of a trip wouldn't it you and the camera or you and me well more the camera but I get on with you as well J O G. 
also welcome. Oh. You must be over the moon to be here. Yeah, it's taken us ten and a half hours. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But it's rather a happening, happening town. I think that's the city of John O'Groats, just there. That's where the, uh, the hedge fund managers and the bankers go. And then over there is where the... Um, that's Hyde Park, that's the equivalent of Hyde Park. Um, and then we're coming into the old, the Oxford Street right now. And now over there in the, uh, in the distance, that's the beach. So you've got a bit of everything here, uh, which is lovely. Welcome to the lovely Sea View Hotel in John O'Groats. We've made it. It's good to be here. Yeah. And we're just rearing to go tomorrow, just rearing it's to rearing, go. Rearing, isn't it? Rearing. It's rearing. Rearing to go. I always love coming to a, a coastal town because, especially in England, you have the most beautiful views out your window. Everything's set and ready. All that's left now is to sleep, and then in 12 hours' time, we, um, we begin our journey. As we'll see you tomorrow then. Start the, uh, the big trip! Morning everyone. It's a, uh, it is a beautiful morning here in John O'Groats. We've, uh, we're here at the sign. We've had a good night's sleep, we're very excited and we've only got, well I mean that is as the, as the crow flies, we've got 874 metres, metres? <laughs> Miles to go. Um, and uh, yeah, so we, we're just gonna get our picture, have some breakfast, and then let's set off. Neither of us can really eat our breakfast. Me, because of excitement, and uh, B, because of excitement. Yeah. <laughs> and we are off! It is a beautiful day here in John O'Groats. It's a wonderful day. We have kicked things off. It is 8.30 in the morning. B is way up ahead. She's absolutely smashing me. I think things are positive in camp. Um, we just want to get on the road. That's it. That's all it is. Oh well, John O'Groats served us very well. But onwards. Onwards, onwards, onwards. Oh, I'm tired already. It bodes well. thing here. Ridden my bike up with great struggle I might add to the top of this hill. Just gonna run down and help be with hers. You know what I really want, my dream is for her to be on it and I just push her up like a child. That would be really funny. Why are you lying down? I'm just tired. I'm tired? Are you having fun? Are you filming me? Go no. away. <laughs> <laughs> That's just thirteen percent keeping low gear. I mean, surely this is not meant for cyclists. What a great moment! It's always one of the most satisfying things in the world when you get to your final destination. Today's final destination is ten miles more than we what, it, what we expected, which is amazing, and it is Brora. But I mean, what a day it's been! We have been completely spoiled. I mean, look, look at this weather. We've had blazing sunshine all day. We've had this absolutely wonderful final 10 miles just along this coastal road. Um, I'll insert some, some drone footage here. That beach, you know, it looks kind of like Mauritius or the Maldives or something like that. That's what it looks like. Our, our, our next quest is to find a B&B that's willing to take us, and then a cold pint is deserved. That's right.